Last week, I said that I hoped that the developers of GiveTCP would simplify things for Home Assistant users and turn it into an add-on for Home Assistant. Well, I decided I would have a go at doing that myself, and I forked the GitHub repository and got it up and running as an add-on. So this video is just a very quick one to show you how to make use of that in Home Assistant. By installing this as an add-on in Home Assistant, you no longer need a separate Docker server somewhere, so that part of my video last week where I talk you through running GiveTCP in Docker, forget it, totally ignore that now. I'm gonna show you how to use my repository, but hopefully very soon the developer of the main branch will accept my changes and merge it in with that. Until that point though, you are very welcome to use mine, and I'll do my best to keep it up to date with any changes in the main branch. Okay then, so you still need to make sure that you have the Mosquito add-on installed in Home Assistant. So I'm actually gonna take you through the whole process from the beginning. In Home Assistant, click on Settings, Add-ons, and then click on the blue Add-on Store button in the bottom right-hand corner. Look for Mosquito Broker, and click on Install. This might take a few seconds, so I'll see you on the other side once it's all ready to go. Okay, and once it's uh, installed, you just click on start and it should boot up. There we go, it's all running. And hopefully it should auto detect itself as an integration. So we go to settings and integrations, and there we go, you can see it's all discovered there. So we just click on configure, submit, and Mosquito is ready to go. Now, I suggest that you create a user account just for use by MQTT. You can use your Home Assistant user account if you wanted to, but a separate account is a bit more secure, and I'll show you why in a second. Uh, you click on Settings, People, and then Users up in the top right, and Add a User. I suggest you use MQTT User, and a nice secure complex password. Toggle the box to say can only log in from the local network. And this prevents the account from being used externally on the internet. So basically nobody trying to hack your system can get in using this account uh, if they're outside of your network. And then give it administrator permissions as well and click on create. Now we need to install GiveTCP itself. And this is quite easy again. You go down to settings, add-ons and the little blue add-on store button. Up in the top right, we click on the three little dots and choose repositories. In this add box, we paste the uh, URL of my repository and click on add. That should add it straight away. We go to close and now we scroll down until we find give TCP in the list. We click on that, click on install and then that takes a good couple of minutes on my Raspberry Pi to install. So I will pause the recording and see you in a second. And we're back. All right, once it's installed, you pop up to the configuration tab and you can see loads of parameters here. Now you can choose how many batteries you've got and there's lots of um, parameters here. You can configure if you need them, but the most important ones are your IP address of the um, Give energy inverter, which in my case is this one, and then the MQTT username and password. Now, please do choose a much more secure password than the one I have used here for this demo. Um, this is not a real one, uh, but once you've done that, go down, click on save, then you click on the info tab and start the add-on. Now it can take a few minutes uh, for this to actually get up and running, um, but once it is up and running, you can test to see if it's worked by looking for the entities and devices that it should create for you. If you go to settings, uh, devices and services and devices, you should see all of these give TCP um, devices added. So we can look at some um, power ones here, for example, and we can see that the power is live right now. You're welcome. Anyway, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and help me get those subscriber numbers up. And if you could give the video a like so as I can see if it's being useful to others, that would be brilliant. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.